sub base high rise invasion terminal invasion Susano which team are you kind of lean leaning towards and is there anything that you kind of saw in the picks and bands that you were liking from either squad for this squad specifically within this matchup, yes. you know, something that I saw was definitely how Chaos Purple are very much leaning on more AR heavy maps where they can allow their subs to maybe weave into areas where the ARs aren't going to be present. And that's what we're seeing right now with this terminal. ARs have a very heavy advantage. And with people like Basic you're here, with his sub work, they can definitely just interweave and use those lanes to their advantage if his ARs are watching over him properly absolutely and kind of another player that is brought into question if it if this one somehow goes all the way it, or no matter what in high rise search and destroy we saw project above lose to the casters which hey r.i.p to caster carbo and co we absolutely love what they were doing in the search unfortunately project above they are just a cut above the rest when it comes to response but i ended up talking to neom and he had a really slow start. He was one and nine in round nine. And he said, I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do on that map. And somehow it slips through the cracks. So I'm not sure if that's something that you want to bring up later on, but it doesn't matter. We're kicking off here on, oh, it's actually terminal. So it's not sub base. Like we thought it's terminal hardpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. This is the second time they've done this to us, Grab, where they give us a map, and it's just not the map. But it's okay. We're here. We're having fun. We're ready to run it. It's all good. Uh, terminal looking pretty good so far. Here we are towards the second hill inside of the uh, beauty store. It is looking to be a bit of a mixy one as uh, all purple players have gotten in and came down to the quite literal trade-off. And Spitify, last man standing, will be able to work his magic here with the ar basic able to help out but we're at elm john even if you're the last one standing you got to get this one running hey they absolutely do and so far it is a full setup for project above neom of course does the smart thing cuts off any of the reinforcements in the bookstore he says hey i love that one that is my dr seuss book as chaos purple they unfortunately will fall and here come the third game mouth on one gets a second my man is starting to hit the shots here. Clean it. Oh, give him the third. Oh, my God. Malice is starting to disrespect the players from Chaos. But again, it is a marathon, not a sprint, as they only hold a 10 point lead. Only a 10 point lead indeed. And let's look in a bit dicey here as we do see that Chaos Purple are not able to really get themselves into the positioning that they want. Project Above, I mean, they're present, they're active, they're clear. You do see, though. That is going to be a nice little trade-off there inside the plane as they do work together to be able to grab that scrap. But immediately, we head over towards Burger Town. It's going to be Marshall here who won that fight against his, team, his enemies into the site. And we saw this jump up spot last time around where how it helped out eons, but unfortunately, he was just caught out at a wrong time. So with no trophies in sight, he will be starting to feel the pelting of utility. Amp able to grab the first opener, the second one as well. Third one, a little bit too much to chew as Spitify spits him back. And right now, yep, Marshall, he doesn't need to peek out. Yeah, he maybe throws his shoulder, but stay down, brother. You are like the president sitting in the burger town, or maybe the manager, whatever you want to call it. As basic, oh, he just says, I'm going for it. As he tries to slide on in, unfortunately, he did not have, or his order was not up as of yet, as somebody was still cooking in the backside kitchen. As Amp, he's watching over, and man, what a player he is, because we saw him on that surge and destroy. Maybe the nastiest two piece of the weekend that we'll see definitely something to note there exactly and i mean right now you, we saw this last time around where we were just begging fresh and eons to just stay down in the site marshall doing just that getting a little bit of some tag but he's ready for the challenge renetti nope ar mcw wins the close range battle right there but it's some help of some good movement but looking at the scoreline right now it is quite literally doubled project above have themselves at a good vantage wall banks no contact no connects but they will be able to push through hold out neom player that you wanted as the highlight here looking real good with those ar kills right now currently on a four streak along with marshall yeah and he sits in the plane in the cockpit trying to find any of the players crossing from chaos but for 
as he senses it, but Neom gets the read as he sits on five in a row. Make it six. He gets tagged up from Spitify. Finally, a trade will come through, but the damage has already been done. And look at what Class X above has done. They have eliminated every single angle Chaos Purple can attack from. And uh, Marshall, he doesn't need to do a whole lot. He stays down. His teammates are there. And look at this. They are getting the trades at the perfect times. And the P4 and P5, it has been a 100-point swing. Yeah, the swing is, is quite literally going off of the cliff here at this point. But uh, with potential to maybe upset them here, Basic is within the site. He is able to hold. But we haven't been able to see him be that superstar that we've seen within the pool play. He's currently 5-13. and 13. This time around, having an AR and... I mean, he's just getting outclassed by uh, more experienced ARs here. And right now, they do hold for the majority, which is very good to note. You will see Project Above kind of pivoting, maybe trying to go for a late hit, but it's not going to be to their advantage. So it's time to reset, regain, just keep going. You are at a point advantage against Chaos Purple, but it is to your advantage to be able to hold the next. Yeah, and this has been a good chunk of time for Purple as they desperately needed it. They hadn't found anything in two hills, and now Mouse, he's just going to sit in that contest spot. He might get wall banged for a second, but not quite. T Grizz, he will end up finding the kill anyways as they're going to lock down the last 10 seconds. And this is such an interesting matchup because these have been teams where Amp and Marshall, their brothers, of course, they've teamed together basically for life. They've had the, the third player in Neom for the past two titles and then a basic in Tigris. they've been together for three or three or four call of duty titles and then they kind of swapped off split and spitify you can tell the chemistry for both these two teams sometimes you don't even need to say it you just know what the other player is going to do and it really comes down to who has the better chemistry because we know all these players have the gunny yeah in, in my personal uh, you know case even with the players that i you know, teamed with for a short time when I had my Cold War run. Uh, you know, every time we play, it's that chemistry. Being able to, you know, know what each other's tendencies are about, know what each other are going to do, and it's kind of an instinctual thing. So to see that kind of relayed here brings a brings a nice little tear of happiness for me to, to kind of see that reminiscence. But it's all good, though, because Project Above, they still hold true. Looks as though they are here with the new hill ready to run it, and Chaos Purple, they grab that last uh, 125 to 91, and it is quite literally 70 point differential right now. Yeah, and so far, this is a good setup for the side of Chaos, but it doesn't matter when you have Malice, you have Amp, as he ends up getting three, and now he takes over the back of the plane. And can T Grizz, this is a big 1v1, as oh, he does end up winning it, but the shots are coming through. Click, basic. Going up against Marshall X. Can he find the kill? Oh, he hops down, but so far, oh my goodness, the man pulls out the pistol. I thought he was about to pull off some absolute John Wick maneuver. He was not able to do so, and really, if you're a project, you don't even need to worry about this plane hill. They will still be 40 points behind. You find all three of the other kills, and what did you do last time? What gave you that massive lead? It was P4, it was P5, and they are fully set up for this one. Yeah, they are really set up. I mean, you look at this Burger Hill. This is the one where they want to win it. They want to call game at this moment. And so, Malice, good trigger discipline here. Wait for one. Sees the two. Oh my gosh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta finish your plate, buddy. You can't go straight to the dessert without clearing out the veggies at least. And so, now they will be fighting for this Burger Town. But so, Neom, Neom decides oh. to hop in with the Renetti, but he will get taken down and. Man, that's a four down. Oh, that's rough. Oh, you're going to look back at that play and just be like, what happened right there? He saw three players. He tagged up those last two so much. He had to have got him down to one or two yep. shots, but yeah. he got a little bit too trigger happy. He wasn't sure which one he wanted to go in. It was they both split the aim assist. It is not going to help you anywhere. And I actually, it's probably going to do you a little bit of a negative effect. It's going to pull you away from the other one and i mean what a break what a huge yeah. break for the side of chaos because that game was essentially wrapped up in a bow for project above right there because they were up by 40 points they had full burger control and now they find themselves up only by 30 but the p5 again this is what they did chaos are they going to get the read are they going to take out the player out of cockpit it doesn't matter because still project are winning the gunfights up front 
Yeah, Neem's watching the cross within the hall, which is a big help for them to be able to stop any usurpers from the front, but immediately they respond back with three of their own. So you see Spitify working his own angle here towards the back into baggage claim, but the front has been cleared. Neem has been taken out. So now they have all free reign, but it doesn't matter. Amp responds back with two of his own. Marshall with the third. Now basic the last man remaining. No time to hop into the hill. And that will give Project Above their first win in this series. What a what a map one, but it just felt like the bus, the steering wheel, fully in control of the project boys, and they made clinical work right there in the hard point against Chaos Purple with we have seen a lot of their hard points, right? They have stopped some teams out. And I think, I mean, if you really look at the stat line, basic went 12 and 25. I think if he ends up finding, you know, five, six more kills, could have absolutely made the difference here in that map one. But now you're going into high rise where they lost a tough map or round 11 again. It was a fun map to watch, right? But I still think Project Above, I think they're, you know, ready to win this series. I'm not sure if it's going to be a 3-0, but I would have to say I would think maybe a 3-1 here. Definitely I could see a 3-1 within our playbook for tonight within this series. But, I mean, Chaos Purple, they have their moments they really do in times where it seems that project above are being very much you know ahead of the game you know uh able to use their uh, utilization of their teammates a lot better chaos purple did shine in areas where project above made mistakes so if project above just keep making more careless mistakes like we saw earlier then maybe chaos purple could have a chance i mean we're gonna be heading into high rise next for our search and destroy and you know how high rise is there's a lot of holding down lanes working the subs through the service tunnels and i mean last time we were there we literally saw teams not even accounting for players going through the service tunnels and mm -hmm. doing flanks so if chaos purple are more advantageous in that sense where they sense the mistakes they could definitely use that play to their advantage and high rise is one of those maps where it's a timing right you can't cover every single lane you have the middle, you have right, you have left, and then you have, like you said, the service tunnels. It, you can't get everything. So there is going to be an opening, but it's just a matter of finding the timings. That's the biggest thing is who has done their homework, who is saying, you know, counting to that one, two, three. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Throw some shoulder checks, finding that. And I think for right now, the biggest question is basic versus Neom. Both. I mean, Neom had an incredible map one. We know how good he is in the response. Search and destroy on high rise. I had the pleasure of talking to him. He said he wasn't comfortable on it, but oh, okay. We're actually going into uh, invasion. So you know what? Throw everything I said out the window. We have absolutely, I'm just gonna say, I don't know what map is gonna be coming next. You know, ladies and gentlemen, as much as we casters try to prepare ourselves for the notes that are given to us, unfortunately, Sometimes the players might be deciding something a little bit more, uh, you know, nonchalantly. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is a local. We are in a much more closer uh, inner interval. So maybe a decision was made, but it's okay. Project Above, Chaos Purple going at it now within the round one of the Search and Destroy in Invasion. So let's get this one running as now. It's a 3v1. It's Chaos Purple are found left out to dry and in Project Above win the first. I mean, you, you blink and you miss it. It was absolutely uh, super quick, and I'm not sure what was going on there. I think we're kind of getting, you know, getting everything sorted out, so don't worry. We'll, we'll be here to try to bring you through the action, but as we're heading on into this invasion, we've seen a lot of this map, and personally, it's one of my favorite search and destroy maps because it is so even. There's a lot of those opportunities to work every single angle that you can, and not to mention you can get up close and personal you can get long long range engagements and it's just gonna come down to who's well oiled who has i think the better strats the deeper playbook yeah the deeper playbook would definitely be a big help especially on this map like you said so let's see if those playbooks are much more extensive but oh my goodness uh, this the service the service closet always has a, a bit of a problem when it comes to the trade-offs but looks as though that chaos purple will not be the ones to win that fight so Project above, 3v2, have the man vantage. Just need to bring it down, canal yourselves here, and 
Well, basic, nicely done. Takes out the player towards mid. Neon, but uh, unbeknownst to him, there's other players just surrounding him. He's just caught out of dodge, and Malice cleans up the work. Last one, speed of five. Tries to go for the wall bangs here, but not going to work. They know where he is. He has been compromised. Now, it's just all about following the trap. Following it is Spitify in a 1v2. Can he somehow find the opening as he is going to go right through the middle of the map? And, oh, he might actually might catch this player out. And, oh, he gets the best timing that he could as he gets one. And, oh, he doesn't get the read on the second. And, ah, uh, maybe waits, looks, holds down the trigger for maybe another second on the left. And he finds a kill. But, again, a tough read is Malice. Wow, what a series he has been having, especially in that map one. I think he ended up going close to double positive, and he has a 5-0 and o start here in the search. Goodness gracious, let's see if that can keep going. I mean, he's one away from the streak. That's going to be a real dangerous thing to have, especially on a map like Invasion, where even if you are in certain structures, there's a lot of openings that you can throw that cruise missile down. So got to play loop into the death star trench run with it so let's see if they can maybe get that one going off to b we go chaos purple making their way amp playing spoiler here does notice some movement sees one sees two red alert and hands it off to his teammates hey good shots right there is i'm not sure who on chaos ended up finding that or at least slid across and maybe saw the nameplate of the other player from the project side is Tiger as he goes out aggressively and tries to take that gunfight. But Amp, he is no stranger to this as he just peeks open the door and he can get any, basically any single angle he wants onto this B site. And they know he's here. And basic Tiger is the longtime teammate. And guess what? He gets in the exact angle you are not able to spot out. Flip takes down Malice. That is a massive kill because it also stops the streak. Stops that killjoy immediately. So now 4v2 up in the manpower, but fortunately for the side of Project Above, the bomb is also down. So the sweat is boiling and click nicely done. Uses that advantage of the open lane, gets in there, grabs two. So now Chaos Purple with their first round. First round on the board. And besides that initial opening one, I think they've been playing this one close to the chest and they're really starting to take whatever the side of project is giving them. And they can kind of tell from the side of project, they're very methodical on how they want to get retakes. It's going to kind of be a question of how aggressive is this team going to be. And it, it kind of allows Malice to be that rogue player. He doesn't necessarily have to stick with the team that are saying, hey, you go out there, do your thing. You have the hot hand. We are going to play around you. And I love squads that can do that because sometimes anybody could pop off and then say hey you go do your thing we'll just support you in whatever way shape or form but basic he gets the read and that's another first blood for chaos beautifully done there's two now down and it's up to the x18 bros who are going to be working this one they grab the bomb they know there's a play here towards mid they grab basic now 2v3 making it ever so achievable as though that they will be making their way over towards this B spot. So, T Grizz has the verticality on them. Just unfortunately for him, they are sweeping below him. So, in convenience store is going to be their their spot where they will stay. And Amp, I mean, he's got the top broken here. Does see the gun? Will be able to relay that info to his X18 brother. And it looks as though the shots do go through. They do connect a bit, but no dice, no ice. And it looks as though they're going to have to snuff them out if they want to get the kill. They do. Now they need to get this bomb down ASAP. Yeah, honestly, I'm a little confused right now, Suzano, because uh, number three, Flick, he was right next to Basic after it was a 2v4. And he literally didn't even turn when his teammate was getting chased. And he was right next to him. So... I, I'm not really sure what happened there. Maybe they just said, hey, stay down. We don't know where the second player is. But you would like to get a trade in Spitify. It was a 2v4 to a 2v1. And he shows up in the end. And now we are tied at deuces for this for this search and destroy map two as well. Yeah, kind of to, to circle back to the point that you were making right now. I just feel like maybe it was a bit of some oversight. I feel like maybe he thought his teammate was going to grab that kill. I mean, and sometimes you kind of don't want to also give up your position because then, hey, like we saw with Spitify, 
he was just playing it slow. Even though he's a 1v2, he calmly waited. He knew they had to get the bomb down. So that cleared off one player. One player has to go for the bomb plant. Then he just worries about the, the gravitational player. Kills that guy. Immediately focuses on the plant player. I mean, either way, you, you, you can't get it from a 4v2 into a 2v1. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, what that's a little one. unfortunate there, yeah. but either way, just great stuff coming out of the brothers from Amp and Marvel. Unfortunately, not able to get the round win. Still a lot of Call of Duty left here in this map, too, as everything slows down. Malice, he's waiting patiently over towards that A site. Neom, though, comes in, supports through the middle of the map. And oh my goodness, I believe that was a double nade from Amp. Ann and Neom, they get a, I mean, that was beautiful coming out of there because they team-nated Tigris right off the tank. And Neom, oh, he just lays down and, oh, left looks right. Basic pulls out the sub, at least makes it into more manageable numbers. And I mean, that's smart right there. He literally was thinking of maybe using it as a cover, but nope. He decides to go for the, the push-through play. I'm talking about push-through plays. That's going to be Project Above who immediately challenge his position, grab themselves their third round, and stop the, the slaytage that was starting to begin out of camp. And Malice, again, he just need to get warmed back up after getting taken down two rounds in a row. Finally gets back on the board with his sixth kill. But you can tell both of these two teams, they, I mean, this map is their playground. It has been every single route has been taken so far, and they're really putting everything on the line here for this map too because i don't think anybody or either of these teams want an extended series chaos purple even though they find themselves down they do not want to see them in a map five because it is just going to be an absolute mayhem as tigris is getting naded out again can he stay alive that is the question he does have support from basic on the left so he knows that side is covered and he will be there as it looks like Spitafon tries to come in on the flank. Does get snipped out by Neon. There you go. Equaling it out. 3v3 now. Chaos Purple. Trying to upset this Project Above squad here with their positioning. They do take out the bomb carrier. Malice did go down. He is 6-3 though. But it was unfortunate positioning out of him where the enemies were interpreting their spots. So now it is a big problem as Amp just grabs Tigris off of the map. 2v3 now. Project Above. Looking real comfortable. Could definitely call for a play call change to head to this A as you see number seven clearing it out within the street. So that will give them the opportunity. But unbeknownst to them, they have number three. Click here waiting in the mid. Goes for the first kill. Tries, tries to find the second. But it's actually going to be Neom who crossed across that got it. Oh, and beautiful. I mean, the patient play is huge as they're going to get this bomb down. And now basic... He puts himself in a 1v2 with a chance to have the ice in the veins on the side of Chaos Purple. Amp, Neom, and oh, look at this. Oh, and he, I thought for a second he caught him running away, but basic hit down to 38. The coverage is there. Project above. I mean, if you looked at that, number seven went all the way around the back of the map, and they did not show themselves until he was in position, gets the trade. Then they know, hey, this A site is open because we just do not know where that final fourth player is. They kind of had an idea, but they did the smart play. They got the trade, got the bomb down. You also get the round win. Yeah, and something else to kind of note there. I mean, basic, he didn't really have a great first map. He was, uh, you know, kind of falling behind, lagging in terms of the kills and his presence. So that would have been a great moment for him to kind of, you know, redeem himself and put himself back into the chemistry of the team. But... Looks as though that Project Above are just going to use their presence here. Trying to slide through. They know somebody's in here. But no, it's going to be Click who grabs the two. Amp does pick up Tigris. 3v2. He has the opportunity to equal it out. And it's Neom. But basic, there you go. Redeems himself from the last round. Cleans up the work. Amp is your last man left. 6-3 with the four streak. It may be better for him to just play this one smart, slow, and methodical. And just not give up the life and work that streak still. But... It is up to him right now. We will see. This is clearing out the back lane. No opportunity of a kill. So he will try to look over. Does see basic. Basic. Smartly done. Shoulders back. Does not give up his life. So Amp, will he go and give up this four streak that he has? I'm not sure if he will. I mean, this is 
I think right now, since he's taking the long route, this is going to be kind of a difficult play. But Spitify, he gets the read. And, I mean, there's nothing else you can do. You might find this kill. And he actually does. But, yep, this round is over. He just adds to that kill streak, does the smart thing. But they can afford to give away a round because he knows how that streak is going to be if he ends up going deep into this map. Which, I mean, heading in to round eight. This is going to be a big one, and if he gets one more that streak, if it goes to around 11, could mean all the difference in the end. Yeah, uh, it's a very smart play out of him because not only did they save that streak, but yeah, they gave up the dagger round to the side of Chaos Purple, but the thing is, it didn't affect them at all mentally, you could see. He was not scrambling, he wasn't festering to get back into the site, he just realized, hey, I can work a kill, get myself one more towards that streak, slow it down. So, Project Above... They're still above the, the mental uh, blocks that that dagger round brings, and stun checks are going to go through. They know Malice is here. They will be sliding through. They check the service closet. Nothing yet. So this 3-4 still standing strong. And do you think that was also something coming in from their teammates? Like, hey, man, you're on four in a row. Don't risk it. Don't uh, try to win this round and then also lose streaks. So, you know, I think that's a little call out, a little team play right there. But like definitely, I said, definitely. still in a 4-4. Nobody's dropped in the opening engagements as Marshall trying to find any type of opening, any type of angle to get that intel and relay it to his team is I think that they really want to challenge out as you can tell yep quick is he's feeling the pressure here and it's really going to come down to this gunfight you can tell everybody is lined up they are pressed 25 seconds nobody has gone down somebody's got to make a move and they've just been trying to bait out these chaos purple players but no players are giving up their lives so it is ultimately going to come down to that time here as Marshall does open up the mid, gets the slide kill, Click does pick up Malice, and looks as though that you will not be able to grab that streak just yet, and there's only 7 seconds, you still need that 5 to get the bomb down, and it looks as though that they will lose this one to time, oh my goodness, I mean, yeah, Project Above had the round vantage, but at the end of the day, you gotta do something, when you realize that Chaos Purple are not falling for your bait and switches, Swap up the call, make a new play call, call an audible, get something new going because they were, I saw it three times at least, where they would attack, bait and switch, no dice. Mm -hmm. And they would keep doing it three times in a row. Yeah, you want to call like a red 18 audible like Peyton Manny. You do not oh, yeah. want to call something like Dak Prescott would in the end. But, oh, <laughs> sorry. Shout out to the you got, you got Texas, Texas fans. fans you got here. Dallas Cowboy fans here. You know that, right? Watch Absolutely. Out, hey, I know I might get, uh, you know, hard pressed after I leave this cast. Yeah, yeah. But either way, the trades come through. It will be click fine in the opening. Basic will fall in short order. But now it's tied up. And Amp, guess what? He eventually gets that streak. So is he going to decide to invest it now with that potential and give them that one round advantage or is he going to hang on to it for the next one yeah could potentially hang on to it or, or really be the deliverance that this round needs with this 3v3 but at right now amp does ct grizz circles back gets to a safer position where his trophy is that's a smart play we saw last time around how that nade did him dirty in that corner but it is once again chaos purple's time to Get this bomb down. They're doing a little bit of some of the bait and switches that we saw, but it's going to be Marshall who jumps the gun right there. Should have just gone for the chase, but will unfortunately give up his position. He compromised it. 20 seconds left. The time is ticking. Look at number five. That's Amp trying to get something done here. He's getting shot from every angle. The rebar not going to be much comfort for you, my friend. And with seven seconds, they go for the shot and they get the player with the plant. They know that they have to get the second one, and the bomb will probably go down here as Marshall grabs the kill. They have him locked in a kill zone, and that is not your trophy either. So, the wall bang comes through, and they win this one very convincingly. Oh, man. I mean, if that player was just a tad bit more behind the bomb, he gets it down, and you're having a 3v2 chance for the side of Chaos. But, Project, now they head in to round 10. They have a streak in the back pocket. And they're going to be on the attack. So this is interesting. Both of these two teams haven't necessarily had the greatest search and destroys, I'll say. And currently, it's chaos. They have gotten six of the first bloods, but only four rounds to show for it. So that needs to change around when they have the numbers advantage. And I didn't even realize, but click. 11 and 8, the rest of the squad, they need to start you know, doing a 
a little bit more here deep into the rounds. Yeah, there's definitely some potential for some teamwork there, but I mean, five to four, not too bad of a stat line, even if it is on the of the click, who fortunately gets taken down and Amp invests into the cruise missile as well. Marshall activates the dead silence. The playmaking is here. The smoke is down. They are starting to make their way to into B. Basic throws his smoke down, but unfortunately will not be able to get the bomb planner. He does get him after the fact, but Amp responds with the third. Here's the four, T Grizz. Stuck within the lane. The bomb is down. 35 seconds. It's do or die time. He needs to go. He, he does not have time. Oh, but my God. What a gunfight that Sheesh. was. Neom, you were the anchor. Oh, my God. He's going out. He almost finds Amp. I mean, this is this is interesting to see the brothers. Can they pull it off? But Grizz, he's taking him up so much. I've never seen so many hit markers in my life. And I mean, T Grizz. Talk about the most valiant effort, but Project Above, top tier plays. They invested this streak, and guess what? Right as it was called in, that player tried to run inside to the, uh, to the video store. Player was ready and waiting, along with Malice, who shoots him in the back, and it was a clinical round 10, and now that gives them the 2-0 advantage in the series. 2-0 yep, advantage indeed, and... I mean, goodness gracious, that was a great round out of the side of Project Above. The brothers, literally, the, who do you want in a moment <laughs> like that? Wow, I would want my brother, too, to yeah. kind of hold it down for me to help me out. But, I mean, like you said, he was fighting tooth and nail. The man was in his anime final stand trying to really get this one done. But, unfortunately for him, Chaos Purple go under. And so now we look to Project Above, who are 2-0, and oh, heading into this third map. They're looking... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see nonetheless, and I think it's going to be an invasion, but before we get confirmation, let's give you an updated bracket, kind of see what's going on in the winner's round two. As you can see, Project Above, they're currently 2-0 up, but Screaming Demons going up against UTA, NGNL Demons going up against Aspire, False going up against Speak Easy, who also had an incredible series that was caught on the YouTube for NGNL, where I know Rarity, Parasite, Doxman having a great time on there. So make sure you go check them out. But let's kind of go into the losers bracket and kind of see what's shaking up there a little bit because, oh, never mind. We're not going to go into that one quite yet. It is not ready for us. But I think for the map three, I believe it is Invasion. I mean, don't quote me. I don't know at this point. I think maybe the maps were flipped. But either way, Project Above, they're sitting pretty comfy right now. They are. I mean, a 250 to 188 and then a 6-3. Now, this is what we were talking about before with Chaos Purple, how they are feeling comfortable in, their, in the mistake making that you see from Project Above. But the problem is that they're just not... They're, they're not closers you know they know how to set up but they are not able to close out the maps they aren't able to close out the plays and i mean when you have one player like click who is quite literally shouldering the efforts of the squad he goes down like we saw in that last round well what do you do you're, you're kind of sol'd and you're out of options and then players start going down one by one and you have a, a last minute last stand and then you realize well dang we just lost yeah, and I love how you pointed that one out. Like, being able to close it, you need that Mariano Rivera to be able to just shut the door. And kind of the biggest thing for me through that search and destroy was they had two rounds where it was four to two. It got to a 1v2, and then it got to a one, uh, um, and then uh, to the other squad's advantage. And then you went down to another 2v1 where you have to be more convincing in that aspect. Play your numbers a tad bit. Uh, closer together I think when you get those kills don't necessarily spread yourself thin make sure you're you know with your teammates being able to at least get a trade get into a 3v1 and just like you said they need to close these out more convincingly they do they really do and I mean looking at it right now we don't really know what the third map is going to be right now with um you know we will be seeing maybe possibly another invasion that's what we're kind of hearing right now and just from what and just from what we saw and just from what we saw early on i mean invasion is is definitely going to be a interesting one just from the snd that we saw from project above so now to see it in a control sense 
Well, the positioning out of Chaos Purple is definitely reliant on Click. So if they can kind of include the whole squad and, you know, maybe, like I said, find some way to, to finish out those plays and get a, a closer into it, then, yeah, we could definitely be seeing a difference in the change of energy. And these are by no means like a blowout maps i mean no, 250 188 chaos they, they were finding those openings they were finding their moments but it's just keeping it consistent yeah and being able to make it just that tad bit closer maybe you win an extra gunfight whatever the case is i mean essentially excuse me t grizz i i thought he was maybe about to clutch the most ridiculous 1v3 he had no reason to win that gunfight against neom and he was taking up both of the brothers but that is what happens when you play against veteran um, veterans out here is because they just throw shoulders. Like, hey, we don't need to count. We just need to, you know, hold our time and hold our own. But already, heading into the map three. And, oh, basic throwing a beauty. But return to center, my friend, is so far chaos. They're off to the races. And, oh, my goodness, D Grizz, I thought you were about to win that one. But two ticks already to chaos. Some two ticks he's eating zero here, Spinify. That was beautiful out of malice though, because he saw that he was low on the HP. Goes the stun, resets that regen timer, but it doesn't matter. Because like we said before, if there's one player you want to try and base your plays on, it's Click who, unfortunately, time and time again, he didn't have a closer to help him. Oh, and he was so, I mean, wins one, and then I'm not sure how we got the second with with HP, and then if he got the third, uh, I mean, this place would have been rough because it was, oh, would yeah. have been the nastiest triple of the entire weekend. But either way, it allowed his teammates to just maneuver towards B, and it really, there was nobody there from the side of the project. So, so far, it's looking pretty good on the side of Chaos as they should get this site, but trades come through. T Grizz sits at four and two to begin with. One more player to try to hop onto that point. Amp X18, though, you cannot say this guy's name enough. He is always showing up to kill people. He is showing up. He's present. He is aware. T Grizz nicely done. Takes out Neum. They grab that second tick at B and are closely advancing into the third. Now, with only one tick remaining on A, things are looking a little bit bleak for Project Above after such a stellar map two within that search and destroy and this is what we were talking about before including the whole team but instead of the whole team you're just including tigris with all that place who's currently on a five streak holding down the lane into the spawn one off of a cruiser and he grabs it my goodness what was that I I'm not sure. Oh, Spitify was in the back with oh, okay. him, so he tagged him up. But you only really needed one kill. And oh, when you thought you had the opportunity, the door is, you know, not slam shut. It was close, gently. Still, there is an opening that hasn't been locked up as of yet. But you only need one more tick. And by the way, if you don't come away with this round, you have a very, very good chance of winning the defense. But click, God, him and T Grizz right now are just on another level when it comes to slaying. Yeah, definitely. They are a, a cut above the rest, uh, the creme de la creme. But let's see if that creme de la creme can get them the plays that they want. Neom in the back lane, though. Nicely done. Cleans out the spawns, but needs to get a little bit forward aggressive here. It's 10 to 8 in terms of the lives. Project above are down. They cannot allow any of these chaos purple players to even stack the site so i like how they shifted their presence more towards onto the site a one for one trade occurs you have seven hp teammates come in malice amp helping them out and they, you see right here he just needs to get the kill but t chris takes advantage Amp, your last man remaining assist six to five now one tick remaining still it is do or die time this is a, another round of search and destroy is click he's trying to find any sort of opening and it will be the initial kill coming through for project all you need to do is just stay alive hold each other's angles as neom he might be the guy and yep he gets tigris but now it's a straight 3v3 but you have to go you do not have a lot of time left on the clock click spitify they need to find him because he's been holding the truck crossing oh neom with that challenge and this one should be it spitify you did everything you could but project above when it comes down to those final moments they do not falter in the face of adversity i mean goodness gracious uh, that was literally chaos purple this round they had all the opportunity literally just at the beginning it, i feel like 
we made like a great point that we just have to keep harping on that they just don't have closers yeah it's it's hard it's hard to say that with how talented this roster is yeah so, i mean maybe they have one more week of practice and they figure out how they want to you know finish out some of these maps these rounds whatever the case may be but either way you just have to keep going and not give in yet and I mean, they, they are winning some ridiculous gunfights, too. And honestly, it I mean, they lost one play right off the rip. Then they get three in return. So not too bad from them. And all they really need to do is just either they give up one point, they just cannot give up two more ticks on the other side. I mean, they're making great essays from the beginning to the ending. They're just not citing their sources. And that's what's really getting them down in the dumps in terms of their grading here. And now, Project Above, they clean up. They clean the work. They have this street all to themselves. Number eight's going to try last second to help out with the push. But instead, they go for the three stack. Just get it done and dust it immediately. Neom, last man remaining. Your sole agent does get taken down. So we reset the play. Go and work through the B Street. Try to work towards the angle. But look at number four and three. They're ready for this push. They know what's coming. They have to be the ones to take them out. The verticality from Marshall. Able to assist. They do grab the player in the back. And it's the brothers. They're ready to run it. The X18 bros. They know where Click is. They just have to get them out. And they do get the first shots. But no dice. No ice. And right now, Malice, he knows he just slips the net. And he's immediately going for one of these players in the back. It allows his teammates to go in through the street side and number seven and six both on the point they're going to start to run this one back up but t grizz bailing them out with some absolute beamers t grizz again finds a second not able to get the third and the teamwork it is starting to come through you need to fly if you are chaos purple can they get into the point in time and oh no they cannot and right there it just kind of feels like this is how the entire series has gone. It comes down to these final moments, and you're not able to clutch up. Yeah, the, the ability to close is uh, something that I believe really needs to be studied in this game. Because of the fact of that high TTK and the presence on the maps, I feel like if you're just not present and aware towards your endings and how you want to kind of put the periods on your, your sentences here... Uh, it's not going to be too well for you. And we're kind of seeing that within the proof in this putting of this matchup. Yeah, right now, it just kind of feels like when you're going into a test, right? You had to read a book. Somebody read the spark notes and somebody actually went through, and went through every single detail. You're going to get an 80%, but you're not as good as the person who's going to get 100 or that 95 in Spitify. Oh my goodness, opens up. So, hey. Making me eat my words here as they end up with maybe the fastest cap I've ever seen on that A site. And they have two minutes and 20 seconds to work their way over to B. And I, you know, I don't, I don't want to put this one. I don't, I, I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, what the uh, heck is going about on? To see the entire squad of Chaos Purple start to wake up and say, hey, you know what? I'm sick of them. Trash on our closing potential because. They are what the heck? project above in this row. T Grizz, 22 and nine, four in a row. Oh my God, Grizz, he is mauling everybody. Don't give him another T Grizz. Oh my uh, God. Hello? This guy, I, I, I mean, he is the mother bear to the Cubs right now because he is going after everybody on project above. Uh what did we just watch did thanos just snap the infinity stones and completely change our reality here because w where was this closing power in round one we needed this level of uh, assertion and dominance from the sides of basic and tigris and i think that's really what it is basic five streak 10 and 10 he's showing up now he literally has as many kills as his entire team combined right now and Oh, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate him, but it doesn't matter. He gets the streaks and click pops off in the feed. He gets himself a triple and what a start is now they are going to start to collapse and a little bit too easy. And guess what? Basic gets a streak as well. So now they have two glide bombs to bail them out of any situation. If there's a trophy on that point, one's going to one's going to eat it and then one's going to kill everybody around it. But still, Project Buff, they're not worried. They're saying, hey, we can give up one round. It doesn't matter. They're redeeming. They're putting in 
Man, what a <laughs> angle that was in. Ooh, 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 spinify. Something might have just awoken chaos. Yeah, something is in the water indeed. And it looks as though they will be able to cap this B. Project above. Two minutes and 13 seconds. 22 equal on the lives. This time, these are afoot. Time to find the cracks in the armor, but it's not gonna be a crack. It's just gonna be the cracked out player. T Grizz himself, 26 and 11. Opens up, stops the play. But look at that play towards the lane. Into the spawns they go. They're trying their best to just get past that 50 yard line to maybe do some damage, but it's being held down by Basic and T Grizz who are just moving exponentially better than from the beginning of what we saw. I mean, they have still a minute and 40 to hold on to the site, so a long way to go. But again, what did Project Above do last time? They just pulled the three, hit the backside spawn. They were able to get the kills, but I think the side of Chaos have started to wise up as they're taking their gunfights a little bit more carefully and Spitify the 6 16. You just think if he ends up getting a few more kills, it could also make the difference coming down to this ends up going to a round five because oh no actually they're down in you know what if the side of project only gets one tick this is going to be a defense for chaos if they end up taking it very much so the math does math out here so t grizzle unfortunately gets taken down and they do grab the player out of the site but they still have yet to grab that tick even to confirm the first and looks as though they will be able to do it now. The two stack at Sue's. The ARs are out. Neom and Co are ready to go. The stack is putting some pressure on Chaos Purple. They're trying to get themselves back into the conversation. Basic invests his cruise missile. Man, it's going to be Neom. Amp who grabs the kills. Amp does go down. And here's the last kill. And that's going to be the way for Project Above. Oh, oh my gosh. You invest the streak. You get the opening kill, but you didn't invest both. And... I, again, it's those moments, right? They just are so close to getting it, but it doesn't matter. Project, they really were not even sweating it in the slightest. 29 and 13, 26 and 16 from the man on the other side. A quick, swift 3-0 from the side of Project as they bring out the broom. Yeah, they bring out the broom and they are sweeping away. But I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't even a beatdown of a three. No, it, it wasn't. was very much back and forth. Both squads are really doing their best. And I mean, Chaos Purple, like you said, like you mentioned, if they just have more time to kind of round out their map pool, how they want to play in these maps, we could definitely have seen a different scenario here. But unfortunately for them, they will be knocked down to the losers and will have to kind of fight their way through that gauntlet to get themselves back into it yeah and it was i think there was always one player right that was just not having a great map and it just kind of felt like it was always hindering them in that regard but either way you got to give credit to project because you could tell they came to play here oh, on yeah. saturday and you have a feeling you're going to see them on championship sunday as they have already now punched their ticket to the winners semis and we're narrowing it down to three teams remember that only three go to Sunday, but everybody don't go anywhere. We will have another series coming up right after this short break.